Hello everyone and welcome. Today I'm just going to talk a little about soulmates and lots of us kind of, you know, I've often been asked the question, is there more than one soulmate? Um, or is there different types? But there is only one soulmate. And sometimes that's that particular soul that you had met in heaven isn't born at the same time as you. It could have come to the world centuries beforehand or it could come to the world well after you have gone back home to heaven. But one thing to remember is when your soul was in the sea of souls, when there was millions of angels and millions of souls surrounding you, one soul stepped forward at the same time as you did and you met. I don't know why God allows each soul to speak to another soul. I don't understand it myself or why that happens. But within that time that you spent together, there was a spiritual, such a, a divine and special connection made between the two of you. And when you just think of it, you would say to yourself, your soulmate, why wasn't your soulmate born into the world the same time as you? Or we would say, why wasn't my soulmate, you know, the opposite sex to me in that way? But it doesn't always happen like that. As I said, your soul mate could come centuries before yourself. It can't be born centuries after yourself. But yet, when you go back to heaven, you meet your soul mate again. And it's something I often ask God and the angels about, and I've said to Angel Michael, you know, do you think God would tell me a little bit more? And I would be told, not yet, Lorna. So I would love to give more information to you, but there's not a huge amount. Um, I am hoping that when I start to write another chapter in a book I'm working on, that I can ask God these questions and I can ask Archangel Michael, I can ask Archangel Hoses, Angel Elijah, you know, that I can ask Archangel Gabriel and please God, I will be given more information and understand more and that God will, as I always ask God to put his words on my lips so that when I speak into the computer, it's understandable for everyone because again I know I'm always saying it but we need that spiritual connection to God and to our guardian angel and to all of the angels and to you know every single soul and all our loved ones that are gone home to heaven and just you know so many of us kind of think, you know, I'm only, you know, when we're grown up and we want to fall in love and we want a partner. So many of us just want our soulmate. But I think we should never be in search of our soulmate because you could meet your soulmate. If your soulmate came at the same time as you or later or earlier than, than you, just say maybe, 30 or 40 years earlier than you, then that person would be a lot older than you. 
and they could be born anywhere in the world. And, you know, we, we travel a lot now. So you could meet your soulmate. You could find yourself talking to someone or a stranger gives you a helping hand and you felt such a connection to them for that brief moment and you felt all that kindness and love. That could have been your soulmate and that could have been the only contact that God was allowing that you would be granted or, or, the, or your soulmate would be granted. And to me, it would be that every time you meet someone, you know, maybe say to yourself, this could be my soulmate, so I should be kind and loving and caring. I should allow myself to be that spiritual loving person I am. I should allow my soul to step forward and allow my human self to tap into that love and give that love to this stranger. Because you never know where you're going to meet your soulmate. And more than likely, you won't even know they're your soulmate. Because we're not, what would I say, we haven't as yet, but yet we are trying really hard to become connected. But I know if you make yourself conscious in that way, conscious of your soulmate, that you could meet your soulmate at any single time. I know you have a great chance if your soulmate is in the world today. But remember, you may not know them when you meet them. And if you open yourself spiritually as much as you can with, with love, with kindness and compassion, you have a great chance that if your soulmate is standing in front of you, spiritually you will know and you'll know humanly within yourself but you won't say it because you will know you're not meant to say it. And again, that is extremely powerful. Just imagine yourself, you know, standing in front of your soulmate and they too spiritually knowing and you're strangers. You could be anywhere in the world it could be a man or a woman or a child or it could be an elderly person. But you feel this peacefulness, this calmness. And even when you separate and go your separate ways, I know in your heart and your soul you look back. And you'll just wonder, you will say to yourself, where did I meet that person before? I felt as if I met them before. I feel as if I know them. But the human part is, of me is telling me I don't. But the spiritual side of you is telling you, you do. But yet, you know, spiritually, you cannot acknowledge it out loud, even to the other person or out loud to yourself, but within yourself. And to allow yourself to feel the joy, like millions of us never, never meet our soulmate ever. We never meet it in this life but you have met your soulmate in the sea of souls. That one soul that walked up to you or you walked up to them and you did spend a moment together. A 
and God allowed that connection to be made. So I always feel when someone tells me they met their soulmate and when I hear stories, you know, they're, they're fantastic stories, like they're, they're moving, they're heart rendering, they make you smile and they make you sad and they do all kinds of things to you. And I have never met my soulmate. But I would say to you, don't go through your life searching for your soulmate. Because there is only one kind of soulmate. It's just that humanly, we think there is one kind of soulmate for romantic love or there's one kind of soulmate for something else, but there isn't. It's the one and only one. And it's like, I do meet so many people that just say they're in search of their soulmate and that's all they want. And they let love pass you by. You let life pass you by when you do that. And that wasn't the purpose of your soulmate whatsoever. So don't let your life pass by. Don't let love pass you by. Don't let friendships pass you by. Don't let, you know, the growth of your spirituality pass you by. Don't be just in search of your soulmate that may not even be here on this earth as yet. That you allow your your spirituality to be, what would you say, halt it. You know, that you're putting up this, this barrier in that, in that way. So don't, don't do that. Just say to yourself, if I happen to meet my soulmate during my lifetime, I am going to be very happy. But it will be something personal to you. And as I said before, it could be, you know, a child, it could be an elderly person, it could be, you know, a man or a woman from somewhere in the world. It could be the very person that maybe you would not agree with in loads of ways. And you would say to yourself humanly, how could that be my soulmate? But your soulmate is a, it's the soul you're talking about. It's not the human part of them that you're talking about. And it's to allow yourself to accept that if you meet your soulmate in the world today, that that is a blessing, that that is a gift. But if you don't, that's okay. I don't know what else I can say about soulmates at the moment, but you, every human being has one and it's only one. And whatever category you want to put your soulmate in, you can. But I would say to you, don't do that. You know, because you're only again putting another barrier up or another block up in you tuning in, connecting back to your soul, to that spark of light that God has given you of himself into your spirituality. And ask your guardian angel to help you. You know, not to, if, if you find you're someone that is in search all of the time of your soulmate, or you kind of go back in your mind and say, if I met my soulmate, my life would be great. Ask your guardian angel to help you not to think that way because you are great. You are wonderful and you are a human being, but you're a spiritual being as well. 
and your guardian angel would want you to to enjoy as much of life as possible even those ups and downs and I can tell you we all have those ups and downs and at some times in our lives you know that up or down can be severe it can be moderate or sometimes it can be quite small but irritating But all of those ups and downs, the good ones and the ones that aren't so good, makes you who you are today. But you have the choice that on all the good ups, that you are the best person you possibly can, the best spiritual person you possibly can, as well as human person, and that you allow your soul to come forward. And for that intertwining, but on the down, on the ones that we say destroy our lives or hurt us so much or when we say, you know, the world hasn't been kind to me, you have the choice then to change. You have that free will not to allow those down things those things that hurt us to make you an angry person. You have the choice, the free will, not to close your spirituality away, not to lock away your soul, to lock away that love, but to allow your soul in all of those situations to step forward for the intertwining and fill you with love and understanding. And sometimes if we go in search of only our soulmate, we'll miss out on so much. Because I know if you're, if you're to meet your soulmate, even for a brief moment, you will. And as I said, you could be sitting on a train and the person in front of you is your soulmate. And for some reason, you find, you know, a great peace and you're feeling love and you're feeling good and, and you feel you want to say hello to this person, but you can be sure that that person wants to say hello to you, even if they're avoiding it. But remember, everyone you meet could be your soulmate. If your soulmate is in the world today, but your soulmate may not be in the world today. But you know your soulmate because you met them when your soul was in the sea of souls in heaven with your guardian angel. So don't worry about your soulmate. Um, I know there's loads of questions people have about their soulmate. Like, but again, I would say, don't occupy your mind just with it. Because you knew everything of your soulmate when you were in the sea of souls. And so did your soulmate know everything about you. And if God wants you to meet, you will. But one place you will meet is when your soul goes back to heaven. You will meet your soulmate there. So if you're looking for love, you're looking for friendship and partnership, don't just go in search of your soulmate and say, if I find my soulmate, that's the man or woman I will marry. I will be so happy, everything will be great. Because your soulmate may not be here. So don't bypass love. I always remind people that Joe wasn't my soulmate, but I loved him dearly. He was the one I was to love in this world. So I did. 
So never pass by love, even if it is just for a brief moment. You know, give your love, give your smile, give your kindness, give your generosity, give that compassion, give that hope. All of the positive things of love are the most important things in our life because that is spirituality. That's that connection. So you can actually say to your guardian angel, by the way, my guardian angel, will you tell my soulmate wherever it is, I love them. And your guardian angel will do that. So hope you enjoyed that little talk. So God bless and love you. Bye bye.